Hey guys, Al here. Um, just trying to avoid uh, messing with the truck right now. Uh, I've got to clean up the garage, but before I, I do too much to the garage, I've got another little uh, painting project to take care of. I'm going to um, repair this hood for, for my friend. Uh, it's a fiberglass hood, and I think it's for Sunfire, but uh, it has hood pinholes, some cracking here, just a whole bunch of mess that needs to be uh, taken care of, another crack over there. So what I'm going to do, it's a fiberglass hood, so I'm going to, well, strip the paint off the top here. I'm only doing the outside because it's just a winter beater, I think. And uh, all he wanted done was the outside, make it look decent. So I'm going to um, strip it right down anywhere where it's really damaged. I'll strip it right into the fiberglass. I don't know if it has a gel coat. Um, it's got a lot of cracks in it, but um, if it does have, have a gel coat, that's just a, a talc-like powder that goes in the resin. It's super easy to sand. And um, yeah, it comes out really smooth. So, first chore is going to be taking my DA and some 40 grit and get it stripped. I thought they come off, but no, they don't. They're actually uh, molded right in. It's part of the hood. So, yeah, I'm going to grab my DA and uh, some 40 grit pads and get it stripped down. I'll get this done before... I take care of my disaster. All right, I'll uh, bring you back once I get uh, this here stripped down with the DA. Okay, so this is the bottom half of the hood here. Um, so the holes that go right through have to be repaired from both sides. Okay, so this one here, the crack went all the way through the hood. So. I had to take the chunk right out. It was pretty bad there. there it looked like it had been hit with something, actually. Which is, you know, old hood like this, it's common. Yeah, so that's the bottom half that I can get at. Now, there, there's a crack on the front. On the other side, I'll flip the hood and uh, show you that. Hang on. Okay, so this is the other side of the hood. Now, I just DA'd the whole hood all flat down with um, 40 grit on the DA. And uh, then I took my uh, flap wheel and dug out all the areas where it's cracked. So I took it right down into the fiberglass. Now this is the front part here where I was talking about. Uh, this is gel coat here which is fiberglass with talc in it. And that's the, the cloth right there. So the crack here was only into the gel coat. So I took it out. Um, I'll build this up with fiberglass, repair all these holes with actually with fiberglass. The corners are both chipped, all four. And there's a crack here in the front. Now all of that damage, I'm going to repair the fiberglass before I start doing any body work on it. So what I did was DA'd into the paint to make sure that I got all of the cracks that go deep into the fiberglass. So um, there's no more cracks into the fiberglass. There was a couple more spots over here where it looks like it was hit with something and did damage right into the gel coat. So I just took the grinder, took that out. Now spots like that there, I'll just touch them up with um, short strand fiberglass filler. Same as these corners here, but these spots here have to be filled in with uh, fiberglass. Now I don't use the cloth, I use the mat. It's um, more rigid. It's, it becomes more rigid. It's what the hood is actually made out of. Some parts 
where it flexes would be made out of the cloth. The cloth is more flexible. It has strength better that way, but the mat is more rigid and uh, more strong structurally. Now once I do all these repairs, I'll DA the whole thing again with 80, do the body work on it, and then, you know, take it down to 400 and paint it. So I have the, uh, the first layer of fiberglass um, on the top. I still have to do the bottom side, which will be next. So what, what I did here was I cut small pieces the size of the hole, uh, soaked it down with resin, put the small piece on, cut a little larger piece, soaked it down, put it on, and you just keep getting larger and larger until you fill in the whole area and you build it up a little higher than you need it yeah you get it up a little higher than you need it and then um, once it's cured you just grind it off so my next thing will be to flip the hood over and uh, do the same thing from the inside Okay, so I have patched on both inside and out now. Now I just bring that down to level and uh, like here I went, I got some on the paint but that's totally coming right off. I'll just take it right down to level. So there'll be none of the resin that I that I put on outside the white area, which is the fiberglass itself. Okay, so now uh, I've sanded out with 80 all the way around the repair. There's still a few little grooves here that I, I'm going to fill in with... Uh, body fill and just sand it smooth this is the bottom side of the hood nobody will ever see it because it's covered up with the insulation but it's still got to be finished out so um, I'll straighten all these lines here up and uh, then I'll flip it over and get to the other side Okay, so there was a another crack here right in the very front. Um, I, I repaired the outside of it, but the crack went all the way through. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I took my die grinder, and now that I have the front made up with fiberglass repaired halfway, I, what I did was dug in the front halfway, filled it up with fiberglass, um, mat and resin and now I've gouged out the back the other half of the crack into the good fiberglass so I've taken the whole crack out with um, with my die grinder and now I'm going to use short strand fiberglass automotive fiberglass uh, filler to fill in the back I'll mix that with a bit of resin as well so that it is a little thinner, gets in totally into where I need it to go. And I also have to repair the corners here. I think it's from somebody sitting it on the ground. All the corners, uh, three of the corners are broke out. This one here is still good. Corner's still original. But these corners here are chipped off. So I'm going to rebuild that with the short strand fiberglass. It's too small of an area to do with uh, 
with resin and mesh. And it's it's the corners, so it'll be plenty strong enough. It's it um, it's not structural. It's just to fill in the corner. Okay, so it's all in uh, in prime. I'm gonna block it out now and uh, see if I need to touch anything up. So I have the one half of the hood blocked out in 320 and uh, it turned out really good. I have to, a uh, little bit of spot putty here, a little bit there, and two little spots up here. Must have been a bubble in the, uh, the filler. And then uh, I'll sand this half tomorrow. I use... Uh, there's actually a line down the center of the hood here. It's a peak. So in order to keep it straight, I just uh, threw a piece of tape on there. I'll sand up to the tape. I'll get this blocked out tomorrow, I'll touch up the few spots, reprime the whole thing, block it again with 320, then 400, and then uh, paint it. Now it's a fiberglass hood. A lot of people say you, you can't get them straight, but if you spend enough time on them. It took me two hours to block sand that half of the hood, but it's straight. So I finally got that hood painted and uh, it turned out pretty good. It's really hard to see it in here in the garage, gotta get it outside. I'll take it out tomorrow and uh, see how it looks in the sunshine, but in here where I painted it, Really hard to get a good paint job in a dusty, dirty garage, but it can be done. Black, everything shows. Okay, guys, um, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. Trying to get to 500 subscribers this year sometime. Um, don't be afraid to try. Um, I'm not a painter, I do irrigation for a living. So this is just a hobby and anybody can do this kind of stuff in their garage if they uh, don't mind spending the time and figuring out how it works. Okay, and again, subscribe, leave a comment and uh, share. Okay, thanks for watching.